Hi, and welcome to this course, Swift 5 Tips, Tricks and Techniques. My name is Philipp Baldauf and I'm one of the co-founders of Butleroy. Butleroy is an iOS and macOS application that enhances your productivity through automatic scheduling. I'm also lecturing iOS programming at the University for Applied Sciences in Hagenberg here in Austria for five years. I have a personal passion for productivity, teaching and everything related to tech. I am also very active on Twitter, so if you ever want to get in touch, you can find me with the handle at philip underscore baldauf. Now let's look at all the great things you learn in this course. This course starts with an introduction to Swift UI, one of the most profound and talked about additions to iOS 13. In section 2, where you will be already acquainted with all the basics of Swift UI, you'll learn how to build a complex UI and integrate it with core data. In section 3, you'll be learning about generics and general building blocks in Swift. Section 4 is all about enums, one of Swift's most powerful features and honestly also my personal favorite in the Swift programming language. In section 5, You'll learn all about writing great networking code and how to manage and abstract complicated networking code bases. We will focus on the server side of Swift using Vapor in section 6, where you will build your own API for your Swift UI app. Section 7 focuses on reactive programming. You'll learn all about the advantages of reactive programming and the new combined framework. Testing and security is an often overlooked topic. That's why you will learn all about unit and UI testing as well as the keychain in section 8. Last but not least, in section 9, you'll get to know some general tips and tricks that are not so commonly known in Swift. Now, here are the minimum hardware requirements. It's a MacBook Air mid-2012 with at least 4GB of memory and 20GB of free storage. Recommended is a MacBook Pro 2015 or newer with 8GB of RAM or 60GB of free storage. On the software side, you need to be on the latest version of Xcode 11. For the macOS, you can do most parts of the course with macOS Mojave, but certain features of Xcode and Swift are only available in macOS Catalina. Well, what is not part of this course, it's not a beginner's guide to Swift and iOS programming in general. So you should have some basic understanding of both iOS and Swift, but not Swift UI. What are the goals of this course? Well, you'll learn everything you need to know to build amazing apps in Swift UI. You'll master networking with Swift's powerful new features like the new result, the combined framework and the codable protocol. You'll learn under the hood techniques in Swift that are not commonly known. And last but not least, you'll learn tips and tricks on enums, server-side Swift, testing, security, and more. Now, what are you waiting for? Download this course and let's get started. I'm looking forward to building great apps with you.